But today in the morning we found out that there is another leak in the car. So welcome back to another episode of Project Laura and in the last episode we had a few leaks, we had the O2 sensor getting fixed so uh, the car is still on the lift right now and all of that stuff has been fixed. The O2 sensor is uh, back underneath the car that has been fixed properly, the leaks have been fixed properly, everything has been done but today in the morning we found out that there is another leak in the car and this is basically the unit for the windshield washer fluid um, and as you can see there has been the some patchwork has been done onto this and it's leaking from the patchwork actually. So this unit is not particularly from this specific LoRa, it's from a different car which actually has the headlight washers as well but our car does not have that and this, uh, this and this part over here they are actually sockets for the motor which uh, the wind headlight uses to wash itself and basically the previous owner or whoever it was with before uh, they've done some patchwork so that the uh, water does not leak but they've not done it properly and as you can see it's all wet over here so we're going to be patching this again and hopefully that will solve the problem it's not a very big issue to be honest so yeah and in this video apart from doing this work we're going to be taking the car out for a drive with all of the new mods we're going to be doing some data logging and finally it's going to get tuned to stage 2 with Niranjan's performance tune so yeah all of this is going to happen in this episode the broken washer fluid tank, we took the car out for a spin to get a general feel for how it was working as well as get the car's wheel alignment done because the steering was not straight. And well, while we were there, we had a small heart in your mouth moment. I think my jam stuff is just the new one. Turns out the smoke was nothing too serious actually. It was just some oil residue getting vaporized off of the engine bay. So we're just back from the petrol station and we did the wheel alignment as you saw. Um, I mean if you look at the wheels right now they're looking kind of hideous because of the massive wheel gap. Uh, I really wanted to do coilovers but the budget is not fitting for me so that will be probably for season 2. Uh, so the car is back, we're going to have a quick bite and after that we're going to take the car out for data logging and we're going to install the map uh, meanwhile while we're having lunch. So after that we're going to also be doing acceleration tests and a few more things here and there to just know the true performance of the car using uh, a tool called the Draggy. We've used it before, we're going to use it again for this thing. So yeah, we're going to install the map now and let's see what happens next. Once the map was loaded, we took the car out for a spin and instantly the car felt faster. It felt more eager to rev and after the turbo spooled, it took off like a jet. 
Once we came back, Niranjan fixed a few more software related problems related to my body control module by taking a reading of Andy's car and pasting the same code in my car. For fun, we took Andy's car out for a drive with the Draghi to see if there's any real difference between both these cars because the setups are so similar. So we're now in Andy's car. He has more or less the same setup like I just said. We've got the Draghi and everything set up on the phone. The Draghi is right over here. And we're gonna quickly go on top of the hill and uh, do a few acceleration runs and just see uh, and just stop. <laughs> and just uh, see you know how fast this thing is compared to my car. Uh, it's nothing really that serious, we're just doing it for fun, basically. Three, two, one, go. So the car is more or less done, stage 2 mapping has been done. Uh, we did not do the drag and all over here because frankly like you saw with Anigate's car, it's quite stupid to do it. There is no space, there is no straight line so we're not going to do it with this car. We'll do it properly some other day uh, down the line in this series only. Uh, few more bits here and there are still uh, remaining to come like the badge over here. Uh, the suspension in the sense we're not, we haven't gotten the springs yet and the spoiler is remaining to come. But apart from that, Performance mods wise, everything has been done properly. A uh, big thank you to Niranjan and the team over here at Autodesign and Pristine Automobiles for getting all of this done so quickly. And yeah, I hope you like this series. We're going to put out a few more episodes and I'll see you in the next one. McRae on the inside, going to take it. And Senna sprints away. Senna is